basta hindi ka gumalaw, masasaktan ka. Uh-huh. Diba? So let's see how uh, the Eagles and the Emperors are going to redefine the meta once more in Your Game 2. Una naman dito pipili ang uh, Eagles at sasagot ang Emperors. Look at these bands once more on the side of the Eagles. Still, mm-hmm. just like Game 1, Hi-Lo. Selena and Kimi. And Your nice team is picking. Hindi avail ng, ano, ng LPE na ibigay nila yung Selena after what happened from the previous series. Kasi yung laking bagay talaga, hindi ka pwedeng mag, ano, hindi, ka pwedeng, hindi mo pwedeng iwanan yung Selena. Yun na lang kasi. Kasi kapag iniwanan mo yung Selena, kapag hindi mo na siya nakita sa mapa, hindi mo na malaman na bigla mayroong lilipad na araw sa likod mo. That will give a lot of opening for Happy yep. Fit Empress. At yun yung gustong gusto ng Happy Fit Empress. Kaya yun din yung pinapriorities na lagi yung Lolita. And there's so much here that uh, the Emperors can do in terms of breathing room. And they have these two uh, mindsets eh. Don't fix what's not broken. That's Di ba, nanalo na tayo game 1 eh. Let's get this again once more. Kaja on Doggy uh, and then uh, si uh, Vern nga ba? Tama, si Vern. Yeah. Si Vern yeah. on that Lolita. Mm-hmm. So let's stick to this. Let's see how uh, the uh, opponents will react. Eagles here picking up that uh, high loss. Yep, it is. Ang ganda ng first pick ng uh, LPE dito. Sobrang ganda ng high loss pick dito. I, I agree. Uh, kailangan na nila ng isa pang hero na pwedeng pang uh, dagdag dun sa slow which is uh, Harith and also an x is okay that's Harith. a very good pick here uh, we've seen this a lot uh, na, in, na pwede kasing pagsamahay o well, pwede pagsamahayin yung Glorious Pathway and also the Zaman Force it will give you a lot of slow and ma- making it easier for the Harith to dish out damage with his chrono dashes and also mas madaling bumabad sa loob ng Ring of Punishment ng Hylos kapag sobrang bagal na nila here's my uh, two cents ha, dito sa ating Hylos mm-hmm. uh, I like that his glorious pathway can define where the team fight will happen. Kasi isipin mo eh, dito ba tayo, papasok ba tayo, pipilitin ba natin, or ilalayo natin. Dagdag mo pa yun sa Zaman Force, and essentially, uh, ang laking part nung uh, battlefield, na define ng uh, LP kung saan sila lalaban. Indeed. Plus yung last insanity pa. Yun. So, kung gumalaw sila, dito fight, ayaw. Eh, Zaman Force, ayaw. O sige, last insanity. <laughs> insanity. So, they have so much insurance policies to say, dito tayo lalaban. Indeed. Oh, uh, ang ganda ng pagkaka, magkaka-draft din dito na, no, ng, uh, ng Laos, ng Eagles talaga. Uh, it's all about, kailangan lang nila ng isa pang, uh, maybe, they need, either need to secure that Granger mm. para mas maganda yung pag setup nila core. on a very good core. range. Yeah. Yes, a core hero or rather a Chang'e. So, so we've seen a lot of uh, a lot of new heroes right here pero tingin ko ang priority di, ang priority ng meta ngayon ha? pero hindi ko pa sinasabing completely na ito yung meta baga parang the best kite or the best kicking. hero na makakapagkite na hindi ka nakakapa na hindi ka napapanish will win the skirmish almost will win the fight and that's ex- that, yun, parang yung definition ni Chang'e uh, uh, sobrang layo uh, uh, ng uh, meter shower kicking. niya parang napapaulanan ng I don't know if, 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 if I don't know the, the, the exact math pero yung layo nung uh, meter shower parang ang tinapunan ng full range abisal araw oh, parang ganun kalayo yung tinatravel niya ganun kalayo diba? kasi isipin mo Paring Tads, they are actually in uh, investing a little bit more in core. Mm. So uh, that's going to be uh, the uh, Claude. And it looks like ipipilit talaga nila yung Masha. Uh-oh. Again, that's, that's something that we can respect kasi nga, people have started to figure out that Masha is good in certain roles and I will see how LPE uh, brings this in as they also have uh, respect band the Zask. Pansinin nyo ulit mga kaibigan, the Zask has been banned again and that's two slots in their um, ban pool Chang-o. that is dedicated to stopping HFE. Yeah, indeed. Because, uh, well, at, as of the moment, ang pwede lang talagang sumabay sa pagbilis sa sa bilis ng push ng objective ni uh, ni Masha is si Zask lang naman kasi talaga eh. Kumbaga, meron ding ibang heroes pero with the, on, a, on a very safe spot, hayaan mo lang yung uh, yung yung spawn na mag-take ng damage. Okay lang yung 14 gold na naman yung mas mataas pa yung pwede niya ibigay. Eh. But with that respect ban for for Eagles, they understand na tagang sobrang flexible ng Happy Fit Empress ngayon. And as you mentioned, the Chang uh... I guess no game can go without her being mentioned, banned, or picked. Mm. At yun nga, ang huling uh, na-pick up dito ng HFE. Parang tayo, I just gotta throw the question out here now that we saw the lineups. Um, do you think the Eagles are going to uh, go home after this game? Or uh, you think may laban pa? You think may game three? Uh... <laughs> Ang, ang hirap sabihin eh. Uh, hindi ko rin pwedeng sabihin na sure win ka agad to sa, sa Happy Fit Empress. Hindi ko rin pwedeng sabihin na makakabawi dito. Pero if you're going to ask me which is much more favorable. In the lineup. I'll, yeah, in the lineup. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll go with.
with uh, with uh, with with LTE here. Alam kasi iba iba pa rin talaga yung sakit ng ano eh ng uh, Zaman Force plus the Glorious Pathway given the fact that they have the last insanity from last week. I see. After that quick engage by Doggy Vern and Aaron onto Kilowash, let's go ahead and go into the Land of Dawn and introduce our players for game 2 in a best of 3 between Laos Auto Group Playbook Esports and Happy Feet Embers. And for the side of LPE, we have Blasty on the export, Bimo playing the high loss Rio on his uh Harith. Yeah, Harith Kilowash on the Masha and Extort playing that uh, Claude. Claude. There yeah. we go. Ito naman sa HFE, hinahabol na si uh, Rene J ng uh, Eagles. We have Doggy on the Kaja, Vern on that Lolita, Rene J once more on the Cho, Daniel as the carry. Doggy, thank you so much time you from Leo. <laughs> Flickers out just to save himself. And of course, last but not least, Aaron on the cute little baby Chang. Yep. Talaga, ang ganda. Kung parang na, kahit ako nahihirapan na rin mag-process yung, yung utak ko na Dahil sobrang daming aksyon na nangyayari mm -hmm. sa middle lane. Mm -hmm. So ganun talaga aggressive. And talking about aggressiveness here, Rio with the Zaman Force really forcing Vern to push back inside the tier 1 turret at magkakaroon silang a little bit of space para lang makapakuha ng mga resources. But unfortunately, hindi pa available yung resources nila. If there's anything I'm gonna notice here is ang bilis mag-level 4 ni Rio. That was ridiculous. Uh, no level 4s yet on the side of HFE. Speaking of the devil, Aaron just hit level 4 right there. But uh, let's talk about uh, Rio once more. Wala pang 2 minutes ah. Hinakit niya na at nagzaman force agad siya sa top. Oo nga eh. Nakakabigla. Kung sabi mo ganun lang siya kabilis. Ganun ka siya. Within the span of the less than 2 minutes may level 4 ka agad. So ang bilis ng impact. So tingin ko, ano yun eh. Maganda siyang pag-aralan kung parang niya nagawa yun. Mm -hmm. Kasi isipin mo, level 2 pa lang ibang kampanya pero level 4 ka agad siya. But uh, while that is happening though, Kiluwash uh, will be forced to go back. Maka hindi niya pa rin taga-avail kasi meron din, meron din charge si Severn na pwede niyang i-abuse yun kapag sobrang bawa na ng HP ni ano dito. That was close, though. that was close. Uh, I mean, without that uh, flicker, tapos na dapat yung uh, top doon ng HFE. But yeah, let's move on to uh, bot here. Exhort being left to his own devices. Uh, Art of Thievery onto these uh, minions. Rene J jumping in. And there is the BMI out. Bimo papasok naman. Rene J being kicked in alongside that horsey horse flicker out naman ng ating Hylos dito. Uh, I'm really... Uh, Impressed at how Rene J is juggling these two heroes on bot. Yep. First right now, blood. Divine Judgment into Meteor Shower. Aaron getting that first blood. At ang laking impact ka agad nun. That's an export. Kasi pag dinedeli mo na dinedeli yung export dito, mas mahihirapan siya mag-transition sa late game. Eh. Kumbaga, yung mga skills niya hindi talaga secured ka agad. But on the top lane, Daniel, force a flicker out para kay Kiluwash. Nagkakang reading ready talaga si Daniel makipagbakbakan dito kay Kiluwash. Ano yun? Round 3 na yata yun eh. Nung susukan nila dito sa taas. Uh -oh. Kanina pa to si uh, Daniel mamuntikan. But look at this now. In the middle near the river. Near Turtle actually. May susukan na nagaganap. Oo. Oh, Habang si Bimo. Still trying to run away. Glorious pathway mo ang kinasa na kagad. Talagang hindi nila avail na mamatay dito sa extort. Pero habang nangyayari yun, yung HFE naman, nagkaroon ng opportunity to dish out damage and probably take down, take down this turtle in their favor. But unfortunately here, medyo kukulangin yata. Hindi na kayo lang since si Aaron, ginamit niya na lang talaga yung kanyang meteor shower para matapos na agad. Kasi sobrang tagal eh. Hindi mo avail na magkaroon ng opening yep. yung, uh, yung eagles dito na mas steal yung turtle. Yep. Here we see uh, Vern with that arrival coming in to defend Daniel and this turret. Pero mo hindi na kakayanin ni blast. Rio. Ayaw niya. Numinum Blast being committed here by Vern. Lasty coming in with the last insanity. Ang ganda rin pagka last insanity. Pero may exchange ka agad with the divine judgment para kay Doggy. At isa ka agad yung nakuha nila in return of uh, or in exchange for their tier 1 turret. Pero when it comes to uh, safe or giving farm for Daniel. Medyo mahirap kasi siyempre nga naman wala na siyang protection ng kanyang tier 1 turret. At mas madali makakapag-ikot yung uh, eagles to secure or at least disrupt the farm. However, while that is happening, Wave the Dragon, saktong-sakto at siya pa yung nakakuha nung last hit dun sa may uh, minion farm or jungle farm na yun. So, so sobrang sulit na sulit yung ikot laga dito ni Rene J. <laughs> Sakit naman nun. Parang binubugat at tinadyaan ka pagkapagsak mo. But then again, Kilowash finally winning after 3 or 4 rounds of bakbakan. The Masha gets carry. Down goes the core for HFE. Pero mo kinahabol na nila itong si Masha. Numinum Blast being used. Immune is our wow. Masha. Kilowash going down after three heroes have committed. Rene J finally going down. Revenge by the Eagles. Yep, and that's a very good committed five uh, by Rio. Uh, as long as you can control Rene J, at least makakapag-secure makakapag sila ng isa pang turret. Much more safer. Kasi ang hirap, ang hirap din kasi talaga kapag hindi mo napapatay ka agad yung show eh. Kung baga, hindi ka safe 
especially on the hands of uh, of Lasty here. Sobrang niya, sobrang bilis niyang uh, tanggalin yung Firago armor ni Lasty dito and that's a very good exchange. However, have few emperors naman nakita sila mga ganung open dito sa top lane. They're trying to take down this tier 2 turret and also with the use of his uh, major shower, sobrang dali lang niya i-box out yung kalaban yung uh, members of LPE. Renegade here, not much he can do. Tatlong membro ata to ng LPE going down underneath his own turret. Mm. Pero ang next objective dito ng, ano, ng both teams natin yung turtle. Five minutes, almost six minutes in. At uh, for sure, merong information dito yung HFE since, uh, since si, Ter si Daniel is nandun lang din. Pero sobrang bilis na tagakunin ni Kiluwash dito. Again, one of the fastest uh, heroes na pwedeng itake down solo ng mga turtle o kahit si Lord. Pero tingin ko, parang binigyan na lang din nila eh. Uh, yeah. as, far, as far as I know, pero meron silang information, meron silang idea. Calculated na, risk, oh, no? Calculated Crazy risk. na na, ladies and gentlemen, pwede kayong hindi huminga at makukuha na ni Masha yung turtle. Mm. Just hold your breath. Tapos, Lord slay. Ay, turtle slay. Ang bilis nandun pa talaga. That's crazy. Sobrang bilis nandun. Oh, look at this though. LPE with the invade up top onto this buff as they push onto Rene J. Aaron and Vern coming in with the backup. Meteor shower being committed. Meteor shower being committed. Pero alam na ng LPE na wala na meteor shower dito, so they might be able to secure this tier two turret. Pero napagana naka from the chief condo will it be enough though. Class insanity into the glorious pathway. Vern stuck in between the members of LPE and Lasty will be those going to secure that kill. Expert ni print tapos BMI out and that should be in the end of the initiation. Pero isa agad na kuwa nila. Na, na kill also on top of the turret sa top lane. Paul, ito yung sinasabi ko, di ba? Stacks on stacks of ult. And here's oh, Renegade God. chasing Rio out. I didn't even get to finish my sentence. And the Kung Fu boy comes in strong. I was saying, di ba? Doon nangyari yung perfect situation for LPE. Yeah. Di ba? Glorious pathway. Okay. Zaman Force. Okay. Tapos, uh, last insanity, dyan lang kayo. Saktong-sakto talaga. Walang, pag walang pagkakaton. So, kung meron mo silang pagkakataon na makatakas kung meron kang flicker and you need to burn your flicker for you to run away from that kind of combination from uh, from LPE and I think this combination is really strong that uh, they have all the opportunity they have all the skills and also the items that they need for them to end HFE pero ang, ang HFE naman isa sa mga comeback potential nila is kapag nakahuli si Doggy ng isang core, uh, ng core hero mm -hmm. once na nahuli nila si, uh, si Harris I think well, with the key insight, medyo matagal or medyo mabilis lang yung pag uh, yung disable nila. But yun ang tagang kailangan nila eh. Yun ang naglalak talaga. Yun ang kulang sa, sa HP at the moment. Yeah. Uh, in this game, I think Exhort is uh, seeing a little bit more uh, success than Game 1's carry. Ang ganda kasi, I think, dito siya comfortable eh. Kung meron siyang uh, panic button, BMI out. Mm -hmm. And then, gagalaw lang, right? Uh -huh. Get to do his thing. But here we go. Glorious Pathway being committed alongside Last Insanity. Oh, Last Insanity, Last Insanity, Glorious Pathway. Pero naka ikot pa rin talaga yung Hotmeet Emperors dito. Into Numinon Blast, sila sila yung tinamaan. Pero si Rene J, uy! Ang sakit pa rin talaga ng damage dito ni Harith. Taking them out one by one and extort with that, uh, again, this ultimate. We're trying to run away, but it's really difficult. Two for one exchange. Medyo hindi sulit yun. And, and sakit talaga ng, ano, ng damage sa ganang harit. Once na nailapag niya agad yung Zaman Force, those Chrono Dashes, with, the, with that long, uh, low cooldown, they're able to pick off the right targets, which is also the Kaja. Here we go. Kilowash chasing Rene J. Can he finish the job? Yes, he does. He didn't even need to use Thundercrap. Mm -hmm. Pinasok niya lang. Pinasok, Pinasok niya lang. Niya lang. And again, that's all because of uh, Masha's first skill. She clicks that. She has a little bit more movement speed. She takes some damage along the way. But you know, she just gets better because the lower her HP is, right? Yep. Uh, so back to the action here. Hindi pa rin push ng LP ang mid ng HFE. And I believe this is the uh, HFE strategy. As long as mid is up, they're able to rotate the way they want to. Mm -hmm. They're going to protect that middle tower, the first tower, with their life. Mas mahirap din kasi talagang ano eh. Mas mahirap talagang i- uh, wala makipagbakbakan sa, sa middle lane kapag ikaw yung uh, inapasagad ka ng, ng top lane. Kasi ang dami mong access eh. Pwede ka makapunta sa may jungle area with, and also the bottom lane. Pero habang nangyari naman to sa burn, taking a lot of damage from Extort and he will go down as well. Dalawa agad ang ultimates na commit dito ng LPE and they will decide to go back, wait for another cooldown, and then go and engage again. If anything, that's the kind of lineup that LPE has. It's very strong, uh, very, uh, I'd say, meron siyang magandang burst potential. Mm -hmm. Pero yun nga eh, once the ult are out, ang ganda na ng pasok ng HFE. They will just take over. But then again, you're looking at Doggy who has one Divine Judgment. 
sino to targetin mo ng divine judgment they're all very good targets except maybe for hylos oh. Oh, right well tingin ko dito talaga si ano si exhort yung pinakamaganda and also rio pero nakita natin kanina sinubukan ni doggy na na divine judgment si exhort pero ang ganda ng timing ng kanyang purify dito hindi niya agad nahuli and that ends the engagement nakakita ng opportunity dito si lasty na gamitin kanyang last insanity They're, that should be enough for them to force three heroes out of the tier 1 turret and it will be easier for LPE to secure that tier 1 turret away. Here's what's dangerous right now. LPE, we see that they have the gold lead, about 3,000. Mm. Pero, tinan natin yung side ng HFE. They uh, have a good hold of the map, uh, especially how they uh, kept that middle lane. Pero the longer this game goes, I just gotta say, the more that it's going towards uh, the Emperors. Kasi nga meron silang carry. Indeed. Kasi kapag nakapaki, ano, ang advantage ng assist talaga ng, ha, ng carry dito is pag tumatagal yung tumatagal yung laro, mas mabilis siyang makakuha or mas mabilis siyang makapag uh, take down ng mga tanks, even the tanks, even the core heroes with the use of his light will mark. And with that, I think uh, Habit Emperor really needs to contest. They're just looking for a nice opportunity or for a nice opening here. And dami rin kasi nilang pang crowd control eh. Meron silang Numinum Blast, meron silang Divine Judgment. Tingko, opportunity lang talaga. Na sobrang pulido ng, uh, ng rotation ng, uh, ng LPE, ng Eagles. Ang hirap nilang hulihin. Here we go, last year with the last insanity underneath the turret to push back the HFE assault. The siege on their base begins right now kasi feeling ko if uh, HFE keeps going on the defensive, mawawalan sila ng uh, clutch moment eh. Parang you're, you're holding it in. You're holding it in. May tension. Tapos feeling ko at some point, they have to be the aggressor. And I think right now, they're starting to pivot. But let's see. We see uh, Bimo here and lastly, they're at half health about. So not a good idea. Pero panoorin natin sa tilo at taas. Oh, you know. Medyo just like, timing lang siya picking up that wind talker. Mm -hmm. With the Wind Talker, again, with a lot of attack speed, you can just easily rip down those turrets away. But 50% na yun ng Lord dito. At nagaabang din na maganda opportunity. I think this is the opportunity that they're looking for. Doggy, almost a little bit of HP left. Ginamit na kayo ng Meteor Shower, but it is not enough. Two heroes down sa side ng Hackfit Emperors. And make that three. At ito na yung hinihintay nilang opening para matake down yung Lord. At kapag nakuha nila yung Lord, nako, ang hirap na mag-defend dito sa side ng Hackfit Emperors. They're not ready to uh, at least fight another this, this kind of 5v5 clashes yet kailangan talaga makahuli sila dapat yung yung mag-una mag-initiate para manalo sila dito kasi ang hirap din kasi talaga eh ng ano yung composition na lang ano ng LPE glorious pathway and the zaman force ang hirap makatakas ano ba yung ano ba yung mga mobility skills nila yes they are a little bit of mobile pero kapag nagamit na nila yung mga skills nila, there's really no way for them to run away. Yeah. Ang dami nilang pang catch. Yeah. Especially with Kulua. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, Hylos, paunahan lang talaga ito eh. I think it's a fight between Aeron and uh, Bimo. If Bimo can wait until Aeron can decide to go ahead and throw out the Meteor Shower, doon siya magaglorious pathway. Kasi nga nagre-regen si paring uh, Hylos. He's much tougher when he's inside uh, the Glorious Pathway. So he can even block for the members of LPE. You know? So Meteor Shower is kind of neutered from there. Control talaga. Control lang. Kaya niya talagang i-absorb lahat. Kasi ang power spike lang din kasi talaga ng, ano, ng, uh, ng Chang'e is yung early game. Kapag hindi ka nakapag-farm ng early game, medyo, medyo hindi ganun kasakit yung, uh, yung Meteor Shower just like so. And isabi mo nga kanina na si Bimo once he uses Glorious Pathway, ang bilis ng regeneration at ang hirap. Ito nga yung huli na kailangan natin, well rather hintayin, Doggy, with the Divine Judgment, but it's not enough though, Doggy, he will go down and also extort with his ultimate, able to take down one, the members of Happy Feet Empress one by one, and Rio almost going down here, the pushback, Renegade with a nice Jeet Kundo, able to isolate, but the damage, he's able to kill the Harith though, but it's Daniel against Lusty and extort. Pero may problema rin si Kiluwash from the from the middle lane. Now, Kiluwash sobrang bilis na kakalimutan din kakalimutan niya lang talaga yung inhibitor and LPE, the Eagles able able to even it out with a 1-1 one -one score. Usually games are ended with a period, but Kiluwash made sure that that was an exclamation point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feeling ko 